Okay, Sarah, my favorite actress right now is Natalie Portman. Um, first off, as a child actress, she did Leon the Professional, which is the original version. Um, here in the States, it was referred to as just the professional. Uh, and here in the States, uh, a big chunk of scene that was very provocative, uh, did some great acting, um, got cut out. Um, that was the movie I, I saw her first in and really thought that she's a great actress. She also provided uh, some support, um, supporting role to Al Pacino in Heat, uh, which also has Val Kilmer in it. A uh, great action cop thing I really enjoyed. Of course, she did Star Wars 1, 2, and 3, which I think she did a great job, uh, despite the fact that uh, George Lucas just really can't write a good speaking script. I think he does great as a storyteller, uh, but I think the script was kind of lacking, so I think a lot of people give her a hard time about Star Wars, and that that's unfair to her, I think. Uh, she also played a small supporting role in Cold Mountain, and I, of course, she stole the show from Hugo Weaving as a V. Um, she played Evie in V for Vendetta. Uh, great emotional acting, did a great job. I also really enjoyed her in uh, Brothers, which I kind of reviewed uh, in a previous video, so I'll just kind of skip over that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing her in Black Swan, which I haven't uh, seen yet, um, even though it's out. And I'm really looking forward to this summer, I think it comes out, is Thor and her role in that as well. The next actress that I chose, Sarah, is uh, Jada Pickett Smith, Will Smith's uh, wife. And um, a great movie that she did was a voiceover for the American vo version of Princess Mononoke, a great action adventure anime uh, here in this that uh, came over here in the States. Also, really enjoyed her role in The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions. Uh, she even got uh, to do some voice acting in The Matrix Enter the Matrix video game. Uh, which was really good. She also had a great supporting role uh, with Adam Sandler and Don Shieldy in Rain Over Me. Uh, I think she's a really underappreciated actress. Uh, I think a lot of times the roles that, that should go to her end up going to Holly Berry, who is, uh, in my humble opinion, not a very great actress at all. So, Jada, to keep doing your thing. Really appreciate what you're doing out there. The third actress that I have chosen, Sarah, is a cat. Kate Beckinsale, um, who was in one of my favorite all-time Shakespearean comedies, which is called Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, it's also got Denzel Washington and some other great actors, uh, Michael Keaton in it. Great comedy, uh, especially Shakespearean comedy. I love it. Uh, she also was had the opportunity to star in Pearl Harbor, a Michael Bay film, uh, opposite uh, Ben Affleck and Josh Hartnett, two great actors in my opinion. Uh, then she also starred in uh, Van Helsing with Hugh Jackman. I think she did a great role in that as a strong warrior woman character. Uh, she also played a very uh, sexy, alluring character in The Aviator and had a great, uh, fun personality in Serendipity opposite of John Cusack. Then she did a great thing for her career, I think, and did uh, showed the strength of her character in Underworld and Underworld Evolution. Got her own little series going there. And in fact, um, here shortly, she's actually going to be reappearing in a new flick in 2012 called Underworld 4, which is called New Dawn, which I can only assume is a sequel to the Twilight series Breaking Dawn, in which Kate Beckinsale's character, also a vampire, meets Edward Cullen and proceeds to blow his head off. Uh, one can hope. Anyway, uh, she also you know, showed some diversity by going and working with Adam Sandler in Click, which I really enjoyed as well. Great, fun flick. Uh, she, unfortunately, she had a supporting role, didn't get to do a whole lot of acting in that, uh, but she did a great job. Really appreciate it, Kate. Okay, my fourth uh, favorite actress, I would say, is Kira Knightley. Uh, even though I haven't seen her in a lot, um, she started off her career um, basically supporting Natalie Portman as Princess Amidala in Star Wars Episode One, And then she got into a great chain of movies, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean flicks, one, two, and three, um, with uh, performances, you know, and all three being great, I, I think. Um, she also... Um, did a role, I haven't seen this role yet, in uh, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Um, I've really been into Jane Austen and would like to read the books and see some of the movies. Uh, ever since I saw the Jane Austen Book Club movie, I've really enjoyed that movie. It's been kind of inspired me to get into 
some Jane Austen. Another movie of hers that I haven't seen but like to is Domino, and I'm not sure why I haven't seen this yet. Uh, it's got some other great actors in it, um, like Mickey Rorick that I really enjoy. And uh, basically she plays, from what I understand, a female bounty hunter who kicks ass, and who lo- does not love uh, a female kick-ass bounty hunter? The fifth and final actress that I chose was Allison Hannigan, um, who manages in every role that I've ever seen her in to come off both smart, funny, and sexy. Um, she got her start, from what I know, in the American Pie series, American Pie 1, 2, and then American Pie Wedding. Um, from what I understand, uh, I'm B- IMDB Internet Movie Database says that American Pie 4 is slotted to come out in 2012, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, there's also, you know, of course, her great roles in not only the uh, Buffy the Vampire series, which she was in for seven seasons, I think it was, and um, of course she had two or three performances uh, cameoing on Angel as Willow as well. Really enjoying her lately in How I Met Your Mother. I think she's doing a great job. And I'm uh, basically just ready uh, to see what else she's going to do after How I Met Your Mother. I think she's a great actress and uh, can really go far. Hey Sarah, uh, just that was pretty much the actresses that I really enjoy uh, currently, and I uh, hope you enjoy uh, their movies as much as I do. I enjoyed uh, seeing who you enjoy, and um, looking forward to uh, next week. Hopefully we can do actors, and uh, I've already got three or four of them in mind, so I'm looking forward to that. Hope you have a great week, and I will see you later. Bye.